Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful minerals and rocks which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon so that I may buy more materials to produce scientific videos on for your fascination and fancy. Today I'm going to do a demonstration on physics and biology. Right now in this room there is a sound that is so strong you shouldn't be able to hear me talk so well. It's true. Maybe you don't hear it but this room is filled with a tone, a sound. It's at a certain frequency. Let me show you what I've been doing. I've been assembling an Elenco AM radio and I'm injecting right now from my function generator which produces a sine wave at frequencies that can be varied a signal. The radio has a speaker. A speaker essentially is a diaphragm that vibrates when audio frequency is introduced into it by means of the voice coil and a ground wire. Right now the speaker is producing sound in this room that you cannot hear and I cannot hear. But I'll prove it to you that there is a sound coming from the speaker right now. It is vibrating. When a speaker vibrates it produces oscillations of the air in the atmosphere around our ears where there are crests and troughs of a wave of a specific frequency that reach our ear. The air is condensed at one frequency, a crest, and it is relaxed at a trough, the lower end of a spectrum of a waveform. This is my oscilloscope. You can see a waveform on the oscilloscope right now that is above human hearing. Human hearing ranges from 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. The frequency right now is above 20 kilohertz. My function generator says 13.066 kilohertz. Well, that's below 20 kilohertz, but we still can't hear it. It is above human hearing. The problem is with the function generator. This is what happens when you buy test equipment off eBay. Yes, you can get a good price, but you also don't always get the most accurate instruments. I'm going to turn the radio on and it is on. We can't hear it, but I'm going to lower the frequency and listen to what you hear. I'm going to raise the frequency. Watch it on the oscilloscope. Notice it gets quieter and quieter as we approach the highest frequency of human hearing from those vibrations of the air coming from the speaker. 
and then we can't hear it anymore, but it's still there. You can see it on the oscilloscope. The x-axis is the amplitude or voltage. It's still just as intense, but we simply can't hear it with our own ears, but it's still there. So I hope you can appreciate the sounds that you hear, knowing that what you can hear is between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So next time you're listening to music or taking your dog for a walk in the park and you hear people and children playing, everything that you hear around you is within that frequency range of audio frequency, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals always reminding you in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals you only have to do one thing and that is to keep looking down